In this video, I'm going to show you different self-defense tools and what is the best situation to use each. Keeping it simple and safe. My name is Z, and today we're covering the various self-defense tools out there in a way that will help you to pick the right tool for the threat in hand. And real quick, let me know in the comments what's the self-defense tool that you prefer. Self-defense tools are items that are used to defend against a threat. This video is a part of a self-defense playlist that will show you and demonstrate the best tools and techniques to use to kick the shit out of any asshole. Firearms, pistols, rifles, and machine guns. Plus, long range, you can hit somebody from point blank to a couple of hundred meters away. Plus, effective, usually one shot is enough to take care of anything. Plus, scary, the sound of a gun is usually enough to scare anyone away. Plus, fun, between us guys, who doesn't like the smell of gunpowder in the morning? <sighs> Minus, dangerous, if misused, can be dangerous for you and your loved one. Minus, difficult to use. You need to learn quite some time in order to use a gun properly and get a good result while shooting somebody. Minus, bullets. You know, this thing uses bullets. If you don't have bullets, this thing becomes our second self-defense tool. Blunt force trauma inflicting weapons. Nice. This includes everything that you can pick up and bash into somebody's head. For example, a bat, knuckles, or a rock. Plus, very versatile. Anything you can pick up and is heavy enough to break your fucking opponent's head can be used as a blunt force trauma inflicting weapon. Plus, easy and intuitive. For millions of years, people have been throwing rocks and hitting animals with sticks on their heads, so very easy to use. Plus, Great fit. You can always find something good for anyone. Minus. Not very effective. It's hard to neutralize your opponent with one hit or even multiple hits on the head. Minus. Easy and intuitive to use. As much as you can pick up a rock and throw it into somebody's head, the same thing can happen to you. Minus. Not very durable. Crumbles or breaks easily because the head is usually the hardest bone in the body, and if you hit somebody with a bat on the head, the bat can break. Electroshock self-defense weapons. <laughs> These include shockers and tasers of various sizes and shapes. Plus, scary. Unless you're a fucking Thor god of lightning, Looking at lightning in front of your face will scare the shit out of you. Plus, small and covert. Electroshockers come in various shapes and sizes, and you can keep them in your pocket or in your bag, and sometimes pass a security check with them. Plus, effective. If you shock somebody, even in the hand, you will stop whatever the fuck he was doing, and will get the fuck back. Minus, like a cell phone, this thing needs to be charged. And if you get into a situation, and you pull this out, and it doesn't work, well, you all know what happens then. You're fucked. Minus. Potentially dangerous. They say that if somebody grabs you by the hand when you shock them, the circuit will close on you. And then... You're fucked. By the way, this thing we're gonna check in another video, you can check it out on the card right here. And let's continue. Minus. Sometimes lethal. If you shock somebody and he has heart, a heart condition, or maybe a pacemaker, you can actually kill him. Tough luck. Self-defense sprays. These include pepper sprays and tear gas and various propellants you have sold in you know, containers like this. Plus, this stuff, if sprayed on somebody's face, can be sometimes more effective than a gun. You can just ask this guy. Plus, small and covert. This can be 
hidden in your pocket or inside your bag and sometimes looks like a perfume or even a lipstick. No one will ever know that you have this very fun self-defense tool. Plus, good against multiple threats. Even a single squirt can take out five to six people and sometimes even more. Of course, you can check my video on pepper spray and see exactly how it works. Minus, limited quality. As you can see, there's not much inside here. Though it's usually enough to squirt maybe 50 people, sometimes you can find yourself with an empty gas tank. And you know what will happen to you then? You're fucked. Minus, not weatherproof. If you use this in the wrong conditions and the wind is blowing in your face, I will promise you, you will get burned like shit. And this comes from personal experience, even multiple times. So always, always make sure the wind is blowing from your back and not to your face. Remember, minus takes time to kick in. It takes a couple of seconds after you sprayed somebody for this, this stuff to kick in. So you need to know that you need to keep your distance. Now, I promised you to show you the best situation to use each of these self-defense weapons in. So first, pepper spray. Good for almost any situation that doesn't require lethal force and goddamn effect. Blunt force trauma inflicting weapons. This is the least effective of the four. Use only when there's no other choice. Shocker! Good for a surprise attack when the opponent is not in front of you and you can surprise him. Pull off the shit before I pull it. Guns. War. Or any other situation where the threat has already seriously hurt somebody and you don't have any other choice. But remember, if you want to shoot, shoot. Don't talk. If you liked my video, put a thumbs up. And remember, we're putting out a new video about self-defense every week. So if you want to learn the best tools and techniques that you can use easily to defend yourself, remember, subscribe. So bye guys, and as always, keep getting some badass skills.